Take a train ride just to see you Ride for hours just to please you You don't know how much I need you Cause you're my home away from, home away from, home away from being alone Shoes Photography. I am, I'm a point at us. I've come out here for sunrise this morning. Um, unfortunately, had a bit of cloud cover, even a little bit of rain, um, right when the sun was shining. So it was, uh, it was a little bit of a, a downer because the conditions were amazing above. So um, we just had some, or I just had some, <clears throat> um, some bad conditions on the horizon. Um, that sort of blocked the sunlight and locked all those uh, those good co good colours out. So uh, Point Addis is oh, it's 10, 10 minutes from, from home basically, 10 minutes from Torquay, 10 minutes from, from Janjak and to be honest it is probably my favourite beach along the whole Great Ocean Road and not just from a photography point of view like photo wise yeah it's amazing. Um, if anyone ever asked for a recommendation to go for photos, whether it be landscapes or portraits, my answer is always point out. It is, it's beautiful. It's um, it, it's got it's got everything. It's got uh, it's it's pretty protected from from the elements. So um, the water is always calm. The surf's a little bit smaller because of that as well, um, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's always always looking pristine. It's got some amazing cliffs. Um, that sort of surround the whole, well, I guess you call it a bay, it's not really, but, um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's magical. There's actually, there's two sides to it. There's, there's the bay area, or we'll call it a bay area, um, and I'll show you some footage of that in a second, but then there's also the western side of the point, which is a whole lot more rugged, um, got a real big shore break, so the, the patterns that it creates on the sand is, um, pretty amazing and you get some really cool sort of sun sets. There's not a lot of places you can see the sunset year round um, on the surf coast because it sort of points south east and the sun obviously sets more in the west, northwest, um, especially during winter. So, um, but no, Point Addis on that western side is a great spot to, to view that. Um, yeah, you've, you've got, you get plenty of wildlife through here. There's um, you often see dolphins in the in the water, uh, eagles above. Apparently, this area, this is the Ironbark Basin that I'm in. I'm actually on the top of the cliffs um, right now. Uh, but yeah, the Ironbark Basin here is one of the, the better breeding breeding grounds for tiger snakes, apparently in Australia. Um, I'm not one to to doubt that, and I'm not going to go and find out either. Um, but you also get a lot of kangaroos as well. So you can like, even this morning walking through in the dark to get to sunrise um, you can just be walking along and you can sort of you startle a kangaroo and you're not expecting because there's no other people around it's not new civilization or well it kind of is but it feels like it's not 
um, you start off route and out of nowhere you've got this massive noise bounding through the the uh, the bush it uh, yeah you hit the roof pretty quickly so um, anyway that, that's about it oh it's got a it's got a nudist beach as well right down the eastern end sort of where it meets uh, meets south side so yeah you got point out here next beach towards Torquay and Janjak is south side which is famous for its surf and then you've got uh, bells after that so um, just trying to do, do this little bit of filming up the top here because it's uh, it's out of the wind. It's quite cool this morning. I've got my shorts on, but it's I think it's six, seven degrees. It's Monday morning, so there's not a lot of people around. There's a few down on the beach, which I'll go down to now and sort of show you a bit of that as well. Um, but no, it's it's yeah, I've probably wore the wrong shoes for it all. Sort of being up on top of the cliffs, um, it's quite muddy, or I guess clay, like the, and it's pretty wet. It's winter, so um, yeah, I'm sort of skiing around a bit. Got mud all over them, so I didn't want to sort of get too close to the edge because um, yeah, I didn't want to sort of ski off and sort of fall down a massive cliff. So unfortunately, um, these or well, the, the the surf coast all along the Great Ocean Road is sandstone. Sandstone, I think. Doesn't sound right. No, I think they're sandstone cliffs. So they they quite often collapse and there's been quite a few um, collapses in the last few years, like big ones. Uh, and unfortunately, at the end of this beach, last year a guy lost his life um, in the summer when um, when the cliff come, come down on top of him. So um, there's further, there's more Anglesey that way. Um, they've shut whole beaches down because of it. They're just too unstable at the moment. Uh, and when they come down, they're, they're big chunks that come down. And you don't, you don't, there's no warning. They just, um, it just happens. So, yeah, it's, um, you sort of got to be careful if, if you're around any of the, the sheer cliffs um, in the area, especially underneath them, um, because they can come down. So, anyway, um, that's it. I might, uh, I might start heading back towards my car and then drive down to the beach because it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a hike. Like up the top of the cliffs here, you can go, like you can hike. You can, there's a surf coast walk, which I reckon is one of the, the better unknown attractions on the Great Ocean Road as well. Like you can walk from Point Impossible, which is on the other side of Torquay, all the way along basically the, the coastline, like mark tracks and a little bit of beach walking, all the way through to Fairhaven, which is a 40 kilometer walk, usually through bushland like this and it is amazing um you get some amazing stunning vistas you just get to see uh, a part of the great ocean road that you can't see in the car especially the start of it um, around that that torquay anglesey sort of area um and you're going through bushland and shrub like i'm standing in right now so anyway i will uh i'll show you a bit of footage from this morning and i'll get down on the beach Show you a bit of that as well. Cheers.
side of Point Addis. Uh, the headland I was just talking on from, it's just here, we well, basically stand on it, it's just on the other side of the car park, a couple of hundred meters away. I am, um, yeah, I, I don't know how it'll go from an audio point of view, I don't have a normal mic on, it's just the mic on top of the, and it's pretty wild out here, the wind's picked up, um, and as you can see from this side, or maybe you can't see, I don't know, it's very bright. Um, it's a lot more rugged on this side, uh, it, it's quite amazing how you're only a couple of hundred meters apart and you got this side which is wild and you got the bay area which is which is beautiful so but they're both lovely in their, their own right and as you can see like that's a proper sunset vista sort of spot up here and one of my favorites where i spend a lot of time so um i'll show you a little bit more footage from probably my other cameras or my drone maybe just to get a bit more of an idea but you got red rocks demon's bluff anglesey got Mary's lighthouse, which you can't actually see. It's in a bit of a shower at the moment, uh, which means I better get uh, bit filming, get filming before I get wet again. Um, then around to Lawn, and then the rest of the Great Ocean Road. So, hope you've enjoyed what you've seen um, from Port Addis. It, it's it's an absolute dream boat of a location. I love it. I love that I'm only 10 minutes away and I can spend um, as much time here as I want. It's kind of my go-to spot, as I said earlier, for portraits for wedding portraits, family portraits, um, or just coming out here for these landscapes as well. Um, yeah, if you have liked it, give me a like, leave a comment, uh, and subscribe to my channel. So, as I've said in my previous channels, I'm kind of doing this because we're going around Australia uh, in six months now, taking a year off work. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to hone my video skills for that trip. Wanted to sort of learn a little bit more before we go away um, and sort of document those travels. It's um, it's a lot of planning, a lot of work going into it, and uh, I can't wait to sort of to get out there and see what uh, what Australia's got uh, and take the family as well. So once that sort of happens, these these little vlogs or videos will turn into more about that trip. Uh, hopefully, still show you some photography tips, things like that as well. But um, yeah, other things I enjoy, like cooking. Uh, I'll show you the caravan that we're getting, hopefully in a couple of days. Um, the canopy on the car that's just been installed. So plenty to come. Um, and yeah, sort of stick around and um, 
yeah, let me know what uh, what you want to see more of. Anyway, that's about it for me. I better uh, better get going before this rain hits. And um, yeah, see you guys soon. Cheers, guys. Straight cruising, headed for a bruising. Watching out for number one. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going? Yeah.